Hello and welcome back to Live Like You Are Living. How you doing guys? So, you know, um, in continuation to my research for um, figuring out what's the deal with blood clotting um, and how to prevent blood clots, I decided to come up with a, um, a game plan on how to prevent blood clots. Like, we need to know. What can we do? Um, so what I came up with is like a crazy list. So here we go. Uh, first we're going to discuss foods. So you know that fatty fish, foods that are low in saturated fats, high in fiber, um, they you know, they've always said that they're good for you. And, uh, there's a word that, it's one of those words, it's one of those like, multi-letter words that is, you know, complicated to pronounce. Um, salicylates. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so apparently this compound is like essential. It, 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 this is the main compound that helps prevent blood clotting. Um, it also has anti-inflammatory properties, so that's the plus you know aspirin contains it also but i i want to focus on more natural things like food and you know herbs and things of that nature so let's go over the herbs and spices like you know what do you have in your kitchen right now that can help you um how about one of my favorites turmeric curry cayenne paprika thyme uh ginger licorice uh peppermint chili pepper cinnamon and oregano to name a few and one thing that I really enjoy doing is cooking with garlic and onions. And come to find out, that's very beneficial also. Um, if you like fruit, how about strawberries, grapes and raisins, oranges, prunes, blueberries, and cranberries. They are all excellent. Um, and also melon, like cantaloupe, you know, honeydew, that type of melon. Um, you can also find that vinegar and honey, um, cider, and even wine has some benefits. So look into that also. Uh, omega-3 fatty acids. They have blood thinning properties and, um, mainly found, as far as food goes, it's found in like, you know, fish like anchovies and herring and trout and salmon and mackerel. Um, I don't know, albacore tuna. I'm not that much of a fish eater, but I have to make myself get into it. I can eat it, but it seems like the fish that I like to eat is not on the list. <laughs> so, so, we make adjustments. We go with it. Um, did you know that plant source, plant sources of omega-3s, or like flex seeds and sunflower seeds, excuse me, canola oil, corn oils, that type of thing. They're helpful also. Um, but what can we do other than eating? Because if you just listen to all the eating things, we're going to be like 500 pounds or something. Uh, how about what can we do physically? Did you know if maybe you get up and walk a little bit every day? Probably set you know a speed walk get that body moving you know get that circulation going move those arms move those legs if you have to sit down a lot wiggle those feet move those ankles you know lift your legs bring them down uh if you're driving long distances or in the plane get up and walk around every hour or something you know um don't just sit there because that's like the perfect recipe for getting clots and we don't want that um, also drink water, stay hydrated. That's like very important for so many other reasons other than, you know, but water is essential. You have to stay hydrated. And, um, another thing is, um, if you already have clots, talk to your doctor before making any changes. Don't just be like, Oh, I'm not going to take my medicine anymore or whatever. No, work with your doctor on this. And you know, 
I'm not a professional medical anything. I'm going based on my own personal experience and I'm trying to help myself and in the process, you know, I'm sharing whatever information that I find. But I also talk to my doctor. So I will not advise you to do something that I don't do myself. So talk to your doctor before you change or do anything. I don't want no one ill, hurt, sick, whatever, because of listening to anything that I suggested. So listen to this suggestion first. Talk to your doctor. Um, you know what? I think that I think that we could do just fine with um, you know a little bit of exercise, better diets, watching what we eat, loose. You know, if you are overweight, focus on trying to lose five pounds in thirty days. You can do it. And you know, hopefully, we will not have to work and deal with or be afraid of these blood clots if we adjust our lives just a little bit. It doesn't seem like anything massive, you know, um, to improve our lives. It's just some tweaking. And you can do it. And you can be happy. And you can live like you're living. Have a good one. Bye. (laughs)